Hey guys, welcome back. In previous videos, we have seen how to run Spring Boot application from command line. And we have also seen how to run Spring Boot application in different embedded servers. For example, we have seen how to run Spring Boot application in embedded Tomcat server, JT server, and Undertow server. Right? So in this video, what we'll do, we'll run our Spring Boot application as a WAR file in an external Tomcat server. Okay? We don't use embedded Tomcat server. In fact, we'll use external Tomcat server to deploy our Spring Boot application as a WAR file. Okay? So sometimes the use case is like, let's say if you want to deploy our Spring Boot application in, you know, application server, for example, JBoss wide reply server. Okay? Mm -hmm. In this case, we need to generate our Spring Boot application as a WAR file, not a JAR file, right? So in such scenarios, we need to, you know, package our Spring Boot application as a WAR file and then we need to deploy in an external server. Server can be a Tomcat server or JBoss server, right? So in this video, we are going to take Tomcat as an external server, okay? What we'll do, we'll package our Spring Boot application as a WAR file and then we'll download Tomcat server from the internet and then we'll deploy that Spring Boot WAR file in a Tomcat server. Okay, great. So let's head over to Spring Tools with ID and let's quickly create Spring Boot project. So in order to create a Spring Boot project, go to File, New. Okay, go to Other and choose Spring Starter Project here. And just give name as Spring Boot war demo okay just give project name as spring boot war demo and then type choose maven and choose packaging as a war okay so this is a very important guys whenever you want to deploy your spring boot application as a war file in external tomcat server then you have to choose packaging as a war okay so don't choose jar so if you choose jar then you need to deploy your spring boot application in an embedded tomcat server as a standalone application okay so now we are going to deploy our spring boot application as a war file in an external tomcat server hence we need to choose packaging as a war over here okay then java version choose 16 and then language java and keep group as com.springboot.app and then artifact is same as project name and then version description let's say spring boot war demo something like this okay and packaging as a com dot spring boot dot war something like that and go ahead and click on next and keep spring boot version default as it is and then here we are going to choose spring web dependency okay so if it is not available over here then you just need to type spring web dependency okay so go ahead and choose spring web starter dependency and go ahead and hit finish so this will create a new brand spring boot application in spring tools with id okay now what we'll do we'll add a simple rest endpoint in order to test our spring boot application deployment in external tomcat server so before that, let me clarify a few points here. Go to pom.xml and here you can see packaging as a war. Okay, so make sure that the packaging should be war. We have selected war as a packaging type, right? While creation of Spring Boot application. And if you can see here, Spring Boot Starter Tomcat dependency with scope provided. So whenever you choose packaging type as a war, then this dependency will automatically add it to your Spring Boot application. Because Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency internally provides embedded Tomcat server, right? And uh, whenever we want to deploy our Spring Boot application as a WAR file in external Tomcat server, then we need to add this dependency with scope provided. And one more important point is, go to source folder and you can see here servlet initializer. So whenever you choose packaging as a WAR, then these three differences you can typically see. So first is packaging as a WAR and then this Tomcat dependency with scope provided and servlet initializer. 
so this class is needed uh, to deploy our spring boot application as a war file in an external tomcat server because this uh, class internally contains a servlet related file for example if you go inside this and you can see here spring boot context loader and then context loader listener and you can see servlet context listener so this li listener is required for our spring boot application in order to deploy in an external tomcat server or any other service right whenever you create spring boot application with packaging as a war then typically you see these three changes okay packaging as a war and then spring boot starter tomcat dependency with scope provided and servlet initializer class okay and rest of the things remain same okay so just try to understand when you you know when you choose packaging as a jar and when you choose packaging as a war file all right great now what we will do we will simply create one rest endpoint here i am going to create a rest endpoint in this class itself let me add a annotation here that is rest controller annotation And let's quickly create a simple rest api here public and this rest api should return a string and let's give a name something like greeting all right and i'm going to annotate this method with add get mapping annotation and just give rest endpoint url something like greeting okay and just return spring boot or demo something like that all right so very simple rest endpoint we are not going to create a standard rest api here we are just wanted to test our spring boot application deployment in external tomcat server that's why we are going to just write a simple rest api here okay great now what we'll do we'll we'll package our spring boot application as a war file for that right click on the project run as marvin build okay and here just type clean install okay and go ahead and apply and run so look at here the marvin build is success all right and go to the project again so let me minimize this so go to project right click and refresh okay and then go to target folder over here and within a target folder you can see spring boot or demo dot war file all right so this is the war file generated whenever we build our spring boot application successfully okay great now we are going to deploy this war file in an external tomcat server so for that first we need to download and uh, set up tomcat server for that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to browser here and let's say download tomcat 9 okay and go to first link that is tomcat.apache and here i'm going to download this zip file over here Okay, once Apache Tomcat zip file downloaded on your file system, go ahead and open your folder. And now let's unzip it. Right click and extract. All right, now you can see here web apps folder. So we are going to copy our war file and paste in a web apps folder. So go ahead and copy this war file from the target folder. Okay and go to web apps folder and just simply paste it here all right so once we copy paste war file in a web apps folder then go back to apache tomcat folder go to bin here and search for startup file okay so make sure that you choose windows batch file here so go ahead and double click on startup so this will deploy our spring boot application you know tomcat server okay let's wait a couple of seconds
Now you can see here our Spring Boot application is up and running in an external Tomcat server on port 8080. So look at here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test our deployment. Right, we have developed one simple REST API, right? Greeting REST API. So we are going to test this REST API from the browser so that we'll make sure that our Spring Boot application deployment in external Tomcat server is successful. We'll go to the browser and in a new tab just type localhost 8080 and if you try to call this greetings rest api with this url it will give you an error not found because we have deployed our spring boot application in external tomcat server right so we have to use this application context okay this is this application name let me copy this application name that is war file name and go to browser and if you try to add this application name here and then slash greeting this will give you a result okay so make sure that whenever you deploy your spring boot application as a war file in external tomcat server then make sure that you will give you the application context name okay that is a war file name and then followed by rest api url name that is greeting all right let me quickly recap what we have done in this video we have created a Spring Boot application with packaging type as a var. Okay. And then we have created one simple REST endpoint to test to test the setup. And then we have packaged our Spring Boot application as a var file. And the var file is created under target folder. And then what we have done, we have downloaded a Tomcat server from the internet and we have you know downloaded on our file system and then we unzip and then we have copy pasted war file in a web app folder and we have simply started the apache tomcat server and we have tested the rest api that's it right very simple steps guys